think that you're going to die one day? Absolutely. Okay. Now, if you're saying that your parents gave you life, <coughs> when you die, can they give you life again? Can my parents give my life again? Yes. No. No. So that proves to you, that demonstrates that your parents did not give you life in the first place. But your parents was a means for your existence. Right? So the very fact that you are enjoying the blessings right now, you're enjoying with, you know, um, with your companion here, you're enjoying speaking to us, right? This would not have happened if the Creator did not create you in the first place. So He's giving you two eyes, right? If I was to ask you this question, that if I was to give you two million pounds, what would you say to me? Thank you. Thank you. And you will never forget me, right? Okay, now, if I was to give you two million pounds, on one condition, you give me your two eyes for free, would you do it? One more time? I'll give you two million pounds on the condition that you give me your two eyes, would you do it? No. No. So, that shows to you that you value your two eyes more than the two million pounds. So why don't you thank the creator who gave you two eyes for free? So I understand that point. That makes yeah. sense. If I'm being, you know, and maybe this is just me being, you know, not self-conscious enough and not grateful for my existence, but, uh, you know, in every day, right, in just like... No, no, no. What's your exact position? Well, okay, I'm very culturally Jewish, and, you know, I love my shared history, but I don't believe in God. Yeah. And it's not that I don't believe in God, per se. I have to go soon. Uh, but, okay, okay. Uh, so what I'm saying, what I'm saying... No, no, I, I, I want to I hear, I wanna hear his yeah. exact position. Go. It's not that I don't believe in God, necessarily. It's that in my own life, I don't see where no, he fits no, no, no. in, or they fit in, whatever it is. Um, and that's just my personal view. You know, my parents probably do believe in God because they are more religious than I am. Uh, and I do, actually, I'm very, very Jewish. Right? I go to synagogue, I you know, do eat kosher, and you know, that makes me very happy. But I think it makes me happy as a shared religion okay. and as a shared culture. Uh, and you know, God just isn't a big part. Okay. Okay, so can I, I ask you a very last why, question? I'll okay. tell you why God is, is a big part of your life. The very fact that you are able to interact with people like me, like him, like everyone else. And there's, there's diversity, there's culture. Yeah. This is a sign of God's existence, right? So the reason why is because it's because, like I told you, the one who give, the one who gave your life wasn't your parents in the first place. Because if you die, your parents will not give your life back. So there must be an external, there must be an external agent that gave you life in the first place, right? So that's what we talked about exactly. in existence. Yeah, exactly. Now the, I gave you the example about the two eyes, right? That you're not going to exchange, you're not going to accept my offer of giving you two million pounds in the condition you're going to give me your two eyes. Yeah, yeah. Which means that you value your two eyes more than the two million pounds. So why shouldn't we actually ponder and think about, well, I should be grateful to the Creator, yeah, right? So the Creator, since He's the Creator, He knows what's good and bad for you, yeah. yeah? Like for example, this phone right here, this phone right here, from your natural inclination, you know that this is a product from will and knowledge that brought to existence, right? So let me ask you this question. If I find this phone faulty, who would I go to? One more time? If I find this phone faulty, who do I go to? The manufacturer. The manufacturer. Do you not think that the manufacturer will give you instruction manual? I probably... Oh, to build the phone? No, not to build the phone. Oh, if to you have it, to use it. To use it, yeah. So if you allow me to call the human beings a machine, they're way more complex than the phone. Absolutely. So do you not think that the creator will send us objective guidance? So, yeah. Yeah? So how do we then test guidance? Because there's so many different religions, Different people will think their religion is correct, right? <laughs> so now we test whether these scriptures come from God or not. So Almighty God, by His wisdom, He sends prophets and messengers. Yeah, He sends prophets and messengers. But these prophets and messengers, they're not God, but they're more to beings like us. Yeah. Human beings eating and drinking. But the difference is they receive divine inspiration. So we believe in Adam, Abraham, Noah, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. All of them, they were prophets sent by God with one message, which is to submit to the will of the one true creator who's given your two eyes for free, right. correct? Right. So now, so now, these prophets were only sent for their people for their time. So they were given miracle. So at the time of Moses, peace be upon him, the, the staff became a snake. Why is that a miracle? Because it defies the laws of physics, right? Now you may ask yourself this question, well, I, I don't believe in Moses because I didn't live at the time of Moses to verify it was a miracle, right? The reason why is because this miracle was supposed to convince his people, not for you, not for me. Yeah. Right. So all the prophets were sent for their nation. 
But we as Muslims, we believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was not only sent for the Jews or for the Arabs, he was sent for the whole of humanity. Yep. As the Quran mentioned in chapter 21, verse 107, <laughs> We have sent you not except as a mercy to all the world. Almighty God also says elsewhere, <laughs> that we have sent you not on Muhammad except as a universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning people against sin. So now the message of the Quran is for you. Now we claim that the Quran is the miracle that you can test today. You don't have to go back to the time of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. You have the Quran that you can test and you can verify. One of the falsification tests. So what is falsification test? Falsification test means, here's the claim that I'm making. If you want to prove, I think he's Russian. if I want to prove <coughs> that this book is wrong, I'm going to be able to find it. Yeah. What's the challenge of the Quran? The Quran gives in chapter 4 verse 82. It says, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبْرُونَ قُرْآنَ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ إِنْدِ غَيْرِ لَا لَوْجِدْ فِي إِخْلَابٍ كَثِيرًا That do they not, like us, like you, do they not consider the Quran with care? How did we from anyone besides God? They will find there are many contradictions. Now you know, if, if Almighty God, if He's all knowledgeable and all wise, surely He can't contradict Himself, correct? For example, if you read the Bible, there are full of contradictions. For example, if you read in 2 Chronicles, chapter number 2, verse number 22, that a king by the name of Ahaziah, he reigned at the age of 42. If you read in Kings chapter 8, verse 26, Ahaziah reigned at the age of 22. How can the same person reign at 42, 22 years old at the same time? It's impossible. So you know from your sound reasoning intellect that this cannot be from God. So this is the challenge that the Quran makes. He's doing so this is the reason why we invite you to read the Quran. Yeah. Uh, okay, you understand, yeah? Okay, yeah, no problem. So, so, Thank you for what, me. Yeah, so no what, what we are inviting, right? Islam, we believe in one God, right? We believe he doesn't depend on anyone, right? And why I'm inviting, read the Quran if you have one, or if you don't have, you can take from here but, but as well. I'm giving you one, so, one yeah. falsification test in the Quran. If yeah. you're adamant that this is not from God, find your contradiction. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Read the Quran. Thank you. Jared. Jared. Well, Jared. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Take care, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.